This weekend, I want to talk to you about a big spiritual project for you to take. Everyone has to take this, and that is the releasing of the past. So many people carry the past on their shoulders where it is just weighing them down. In Job 11, verse 16, it promises you will forget your mis misery. And then in Job 11, 16, it also says you will remember it as waters that have passed away. Have you ever been on a bridge and watched the stream? Maybe a log is in the stream and it's coming close to you and then it passes under the bridge and then pretty soon it's passed under uh, the bridge and out of your sight. That is the way that the past should be. The past is the past. The past is important to the present in that it contributed to our growth. Hopefully it did. It is good to appreciate all the ways in which you have grown and come into understanding, even the experiences that seem difficult or unpleasant at the time. But of course, the main thing is we don't dwell in the pain or the unpleasantness. We let it go. We let it be past. There are some people who feel that the past was a much happier time for them. And so they find it difficult to fully grasp and enjoy today. There are others that have such painful memories of the past that they can't forgive and forget. Whatever has gone before, happy times or sad times, it is past. We need to realize this and enter fully with an expectant attitude and happy in the present. We can bless the past, appreciate it, forgive it if need be, and let it go. Right now, we have to be alive with a willingness to live. Right now, we are needed. Right now, God is with us. And right now, we are God's beloved children. Now, if we hold on to past hurts, we continually remind ourselves of them. And the interesting thing about reminding ourselves about the past is the memory grows bigger and bigger as it is fed. We keep them in the present by constantly referring to them, saying things like, oh, I'll never forget that, as if we need to recount what someone did or what someone said, something that should have long since been forgiven and forgotten. Well, the past, my friend, is past. The hurts of the past are in the past. Leave them there. The regrets of the past are in the past. Leave them there. The failures of the past are in the past. Leave them there. The fears of the past are in the past. Leave them there. The past is past. Let it go. Today, right now, is new and fresh. Today, Right now, you are a new person meeting life in a brand new way. Today is here, and we agree as children of God to be happy in this day.